Guru and Gravity. The world credited Sir Isaac Newton, the English astronomer, mathematician and physicist, with discovering gravity. When in 1687, he published a book called Philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica, in which he presented his theory of universal gravitation. But gravity is a concept that ancient Indians have known for longer. Indian scriptures lend a lot of importance on Guru, meaning assertive and influential, and is thus a title given to a person full of knowledge, who guides his disciples' minds and thinking by teaching them. Guru is the master who draws people towards him through his positive influence. Thus, Guru is the one who influences the subtle or sukshma. Ancient Indian scholar and astronomer Paramahira further explains Guru as the name for planet Jupiter, which is the largest and heaviest in the solar system, exerting maximum influence on all other bodies in the solar system. In the larger sense, this makes Guru the most influential on matter. The concept of gravity can be found way back in Guru Gita by Sage Vyas, where Parvati asked Shiva, You are the Supreme, but who is it that you bow to? To which Shiva replies, It is to the all-pervading Guru Tattva that I bow down to. Guru Tattva, meaning the force of gravity, the omnipresent force of the universe, known in Hindu scriptures as Prapancha. From these mentions that go back thousands of years, it is clear that the ancient Indians had a deeper understanding of gravity, not just applicable to the earth or the moon, but as applicable to all astral bodies. Gravity is an ancient concept that Europeans came to understand much later, the home of knowledge, wisdom and philosophy for thousands of years. This is Amazing India.